Hi, I'm Joe with Rogue Fabrication. Today I'd like to show you guys our thin wall attachment. This is the thin wall attachment. And what it does is takes a cam and puts a pressure die up higher. That little bit that it just moved puts this extremely close to the bending die. So that's exactly where the bending takes place in the machine. This is the main pivot. And the pressure die normally goes back here, which there is still a pressure die in that location. And what it does is it controls the outside of the bend and it prevents it from deforming as much and that does help the bend quality and I can show you guys how much after we make a bend. So there's already thin wall attachment in this machine. We'll probably show you another video how to load it but all you do is cam it up so that it's essentially in play so it'll affect the bend and this is a very high friction application so you always have to have lubrication on your tubing. And this is a uh, tower oil product selling soon and you can weld right through it so it doesn't affect your future welding processes it's a great performance lubrication we're going to bend about 45 degrees So as this tubing deforms, the pressure guy is preventing it from expanding and deforming more. And it does create quite a bit of tension. So that's why we have to have a cam to get it back out of the way. So now that it's out of the way, I'm going to continue moving. And this is very oily, but it does make a really nice bend. And this is a fine tuning kind of process. So I've already measured a couple of these. And I'm going to grab them and show them to you. This one is with the thin wall attachment, and this one is without. And this is about a 25% reduction in the amount of material deformed. So this bend with the thin wall attachment is about 25% better than this one without it. And we just measure it with calipers and calculate the percentage of deformation. And the way you adjust the thin wall attachment is on the bottom of it. There is a series of screws down here. And if you turn these screws in and out, they will adjust the position of this die. And because the cam brings it in and out, you can leave your adjustments right where they are. So this is a really great way to achieve some really nice bends. And of course, we're gonna share with you what this actually is. This is Inch and 5 8 083 Chromoly. So this is the pretty much the standard for NASCAR, SFI, NHRA, all drag cars, um, pro touring, most go fast things that are two wheel drive are running this as a standard. So I hope this video has been informative and please be sure to like our videos, follow us on Facebook and uh, as always, uh, bend safe and stay educated.